Hey guys, welcome back. Today uh, we are in the backyard and uh, I'm setting up my new Oklahoma Joe's uh, Longhorn. Uh, it's a combo smoker charcoal gas grill. So three in one, right? All depends on how you look at it. Um, so I wanted this to be an unboxing or assembly, but it came off a, a truck, you know, with a lift gate and they dropped it off. And so I just rolled it back here. Hooked up my propane tank, that was all there was to do. And then uh, it looks like I'm ready to go. So let's just go ahead and let, let's, uh, let's take a look at everything here. And uh, I'll give you guys a walkthrough. All right, so this here is the, uh, is the smoker side of it. And it's really cool because I can either throw some charcoal inside here, or I can, I can go ahead and uh, you know put my wood and all that different stuff for, or chips or however I want to do my smoke. I can do it all right here. Um, I can indirectly heat and smoke food over here. Okay, and then I've got access to my firebox, which is really nice because I was looking at some of the pellet uh, pellet smokers. And I noticed that it was really hard to clean out, but right here I've got access and then I can control a bunch of my heat right here, right? So it's going to work out pretty well. I, I looked at these for a really long time before I decided on this specific model. And then even then it took me about six or seven months before I pulled the trigger on something like this. Um, it's got all cast iron grates here, stainless steel on the bottom. Okay, and so th again, this is good. If I want to throw some charcoal and things down here, I can. Right, and again, access here to the uh, to the charcoal side of things. When we're looking at the charcoal side of everything, you can see it even came with a uh, with a grate lifter. Right, so move, move things around when they're hot. I can get in here and uh, shift wood around or, or shift coals around, all that different stuff. Um, one of the things that I did do, uh, it's my match holder here. I, it, it was, it was not connected to here. It was dangling from a screw over here. So I took it off and I put it on this. And this is my number one recommendation because now I can light the firebox, I can light my charcoal. Uh, for whatever reason, I need a light over here, I can. And I can even reach the, uh, the, the burner over here on the side. So, <laughs> number one recommendation, right? And then it just sits nice and neatly right there. Uh, you know, it's great. Um, looking at the, uh, the smokestack, all right, up here at the top, really nice and thick I can you know regulate the amount of smoke I want moving through and the amount of air I want moving through uh, all of the handles are the nice cool grip handles so that, that should be nice for stainless steel uh, the burner side of it it's got three stainless steel burners down here in the bottom all right so these stainless steel burners down the bottom again it's got the, the heat shield and everything here but you can take a look at that and you can actually see the penetration of the welds and all that different stuff that's down in there. And uh, they look really good. I'm really happy with this setup. Right again, all cast iron grates. All right, let's take a look over here at the burner. All right, so it's a pretty, pretty decent burner. I think it's 12,000 BTUs. Um, it's good for a uh, for a six quart pot is what it recommends. You know, any more than that you might tweak this a little bit, but I'm sure that could be beefed up pretty easily. Uh, as far as lighting goes, it's all controlled by one igniter, one central igniter here in the push button. All right, so if I want to light the side, there it is. I'm lit. I want to light my burners in here, right? It's all the same button and I can light as many of these as I want. It's all nice thick gauge steel. Uh, looks like it's powder coated. Nice gauges and things like that. Um, 
they sent me one out that was like a floor model and I, I I sent it back to him but you can see how fast that it's climbing in there heats up really quickly and I hear these do really well in the winter time as far as holding temperature and and, and things like that um, the seals are pretty nice uh, I got a little gap here but with a little bit of tweaking you know I can bring it down like this side here should seal quite nicely but you can see that this is the first time I fired this thing up all right so as far as that goes um, again You know, I'm extremely happy with this. Uh, I gotta peel all the stickers off. All right, so I'll take those off. Just got a nice tool rack. I got a nice rack down here uh, for charcoal, for, for wood and things like that. Uh, different utensils and tools. Uh, propane's easy to access, so I can get that in and out. Um, there it is.